Hi, my name is Solar and this is Pantry Raid. We are here in beautiful Parkland County and John and Karen's house. Uh, we are going to prepare a meal with what they've got in their kitchen. We don't know what they've got yet, so we're gonna go and find out. Let's go say hi to Karen. Hello. Hi, Karen. Yes, yeah, Solar. Nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Come How on in. You? I'm good, I'm good. We are here in Karen's kitchen. We're gonna go through her kitchen, her pantry, her fridge, her spices and stuff, and see what she's got. May I start with the fridge? Yes, sure. Fridge? Okay. I have are some salmon good? here. You've got some salmon, great option. I, I have a business and I work a lot of hours, so uh, my biggest obstacle is time. And I have to say that I don't really enjoy being forced to cook when I don't have enough time. Let's use some of this. Okay. There's something about salmon and cream cheese that's great. Peppers are great, uh, goes with everything. I think time time is a big obstacle for uh, most of the people uh, that in, in home, especially in uh, you know today's lives, everyone is busy, everyone's working, and uh, they don't, they never have enough time uh, to spend at home and cook. So uh, we're gonna address, address that today and try to make something that is really quick. Onions, carrots, celery, these are ingredients, they really work well together. Well, I just think it's fun to, to see how someone else does the cooking in the kitchen. I always enjoy that very, very much. So I'm excited to see what Salar is going to do for us today. Okay, and uh, you've got a big pantry here. Oh, we've got some uh, pasta. Great with salmon, actually. I think we, I'm gonna do a pasta because we got some uh, capolini, which is the quickest pasta to cook. It's very thin. Balsamic. So, uh, we're gonna show uh, how quickly we can do that. Yeah, I think we're good. So we decided what we're gonna make. We have some uh, capolini pasta, uh, some uh, canned tomatoes and fresh tomatoes. It's always good to combine those two ingredients. We have some butter here, uh, onion, pepper, lemon, a little citrus flavor, always good with fish. Uh, we have carrots and uh, celery, garlic is uh, a go-to ingredient. We have uh, asparagus, we're going to cut it up, incorporate it into our pasta. You can do so many things with asparagus, you can grill them, you can make soup out of it, you can basically do everything with asparagus. And also green onions, they have fantastic flavor. Uh, we're going to uh, put some mushrooms in our pasta, extra virgin olive oil, great for uh, finishing. We have some spicy sauce that I found in uh, Karen's fridge. Give, give it a little kick. And the star of the dish, our beautiful salmon. Karen's son went uh, fishing and caught the salmon, which is great. Uh, I'm gonna skin this and um, we're gonna sear it and put it on top of the pasta. Uh, it's gonna be some kind of a soupy pasta, great for months of winter. And it's, it's comfort food and it's uh, beautiful. And we'll start cooking when we get back. Hi, we're back again, and uh, we we start cooking now. I'm gonna peel some carrots. Uh, we will try to dice everything the same size, so they cook all kind of uniform. And, and it's important also to know which ingredient you wanna add into your pan first, because again, we wanna be really quick with this. So I'm going to just uh, put a pan on and get our uh, uh, celery and carrots going uh, slowly. Keep a little end of the onion so you can hold on to it and throw it out later so you, can, you have a little handle. A little garlic. As soon as you crack the shell, kind of, uh, the skin comes up pretty easily so you don't have to uh, smash the garlic too hard. I kind of like to um, slice the garlic, not really chop it too fine. I, I personally like the little bite of garlic when you bite into it and you can actually taste it. 
Then I start pepper as well. Again, pasta is a, is a dish that you can really improvise with, yeah, as long as the flavors kind of work. Yeah, Karen is getting some water for us. Uh, we're gonna have some water boiling so we can add to our pasta and uh, make things quicker. You don't wanna like wait for water to come to boil. Brussels sprouts are great for roasting, but now, now here we wanna use them in pasta. We just slice them really thin. You want some crispiness. You don't want your asparagus to get too mushy. Have it kind of al dente. We do a little lemon zest and our mushrooms. So here's what I'm gonna do. Grab our pasta and just break it in there. And mix it with the rest of our ingredients. Instead of like cooking the pasta in a separate pot, we are, in, uh, we are doing, doing both at the same time. So it saves us some time and it's more sustainable, it saves us a lot of energy. And boiling hot water. So I try to move the pasta around a little bit so it doesn't stick to each other. And it's usually that happens in the beginning of the cooking process in pasta, with pasta. After it gets a little soft and uh, gets all soaked, uh, you don't have to really worry about it anymore. So while our pasta is cooking, it's a uh, great opportunity for us to uh, have a little lesson with Karen and show you how to skin a salmon. I love to cook. My husband always knows when I've had a bad day because uh, I find the kitchen to be a very nurturing place. So I'll be mass producing food if I've had a really crappy day. You can see on the side that it's, the skin is coming off. That's a, that's a great spot to start. Uh, I slide my knife down there a little, keep pushing it. The thing with skin, fish skin is you can't really cut it that easily. So you can like push your knife against the skin a little bit. And as soon as you get a good grip on the skin, then that's the time that you can cut through it. And there's a perfect skin off salmon. Do you wanna give it a try, Karen? Sure. Cut it a little bit, even if there's a tiny bit meat on it, it's, it's fine. Turn it back to that. Oh, you're, you're doing great. Really good. Perfect. Okay, now we can uh, season our salmon. We have our cast iron pan and we're ready to go. I like it. Ready to go in the oven. So now we got the salmon cooking. Uh, uh, we, go, we go back to our pasta and uh, our pasta is it's almost ready to serve. All we need is uh, for the salmon to cook and we're ready to serve the dinner. The salmon is ready. We use a flipper to get it out of the, out of the pan. This is not a non-stick pan. So the best way to cook the salmon is to finish it in the oven. If it's a big, big, big kind of filet like this. As you see, it's nice, uh, beautiful, medium, almost medium. A little over medium rare. If you want to cook the fish in high heat, it gets nice crust outside and so you don't overcook things. It cooks uh, faster on the outside and when the outside is ready, you have beautiful medium rare in the inside. Okay, we're back and dinner is ready. We have angel hair pasta with mushrooms, asparagus, carrots, celery, green onions, and the salmon uh, on top. And the dinner is ready, let's eat. Tonight, we are uh, pairing uh, your dinner with uh, some nice Chardonnay because of the fish and acidity and the flavors and the fruitiness in char Chardonnay, it, uh, they complement each other perfectly. Bon appetit, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. That was it for our first episode. Thanks for tuning in uh, on Pantry Raid and Shaw TV. We'll be back with, with the next episode.